Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about how you can organize your life. Today's video is brought to you by Locate a Locum. So I get questions asked by a lot of my friends actually as to how I end up organizing my life because I work full time in hospital, I volunteer a lot on the weekends to work in hospital as well, I used to do a lot of community shifts, I film videos and I have a fully running review service for applications and I love to dine out with my friends and I'm also in a relationship so that is quite a lot of things to be dealing with at one time and I wanted to make a video on how I actually organize my life and how I make sure that everything gets done and I meet the deadlines that I need to meet because yeah I am still currently enrolled onto the JPB UCL diploma so I'm studying alongside all of my usual duties. The first tip that I want to tell you guys to use, and this is not sponsored by Team Up at all, it's just some random company that I found on Google, but it's an online calendar. So I use Team Up more than Google Calendar or Apple Calendar or whatever there is because all you need is a link and the link itself can give you access to edit and view. I have my own personalized Team Up link and with that link I can access my calendar across any of my devices, my MacBook, my tablet, my phone. And I also use different colors for everything and it's just clear to me. So for example, I'll use red events for work events, yellow events for social events, um, blue events for any events that involve my boyfriend, pink events for birthdays, and I have a turquoise event, which is things for, are just for me. I just use a color coordinated version. I know some people like using a separate work diary and a separate personal diary, which if it works for you, then that's good for you. But I like keeping everything together and that way I don't miss anything, that way I don't miss out on my late duties, on my on-call, and everything is on there. And more than anything, I'll just share this with my friends or my family or my boyfriend and they can access it at any time and they can actually just see what I'm up to, which is quite important when you're planning things together. The second thing that I have is a Google Documents to-do list. So instead of having a to-do list that I carry around with me, which I'm going to go into later, I will have a to-do list that's just on Google Documents. And that means that anywhere I'm logged into any devices on Google, I can access the to-do list and I will make sure that I review that every day and it's updated every day. So the reason I decided not to carry around a journal slash diary is because I would either lose it or it would just become a burden carrying it around. So I decided, you know what, scrap that. My to-do list is going to be on Google Documents. I can access that anywhere that I sign in. I can make sure that everything gets done on that list. And then separately, I've got the online calendar as well. But this brings me to my third point. So in terms of my ward list that I have to do on the ward, daily if anything is to do with my patients or anything to do with the ward or for example if i have to do a controlled drugs audit or anything work related i just have a notepad that i keep at work that i use at work and that stays at work so i don't like to carry around that to-do list with me and i don't have it electronically because there's no need for me to have it electronically sometimes there might be patient like information on there as well so from that perspective it's just not good to have anything electronically so i have a work to-do list notepad and that just stays at work and it stays locked in pharmacy and I just use that for work. So another thing that I do to stay on top of things is my finances. So this is not gonna be something that everyone else will wanna do, but I personally review my finances every day. So what that means is on my commute, I will go into every single bank account that I have and I'll check exactly how much money is in there and I'll make sure that nothing should be happening that shouldn't be happening. It doesn't mean that I save more and that I'm not spending. It just means that I, review every day what my spending is. So I used to like really like getting coffees all the time. The only way that I stopped doing that was actually reviewing my bank accounts every day and realizing just how much money I was spending on coffee. So that really helped me. It only takes me like two seconds. So I'll be like, yep, that makes sense. Yep, that bank makes sense. Yep, okay, yep. And that's not because I have loads of bank accounts with loads of money, it's simply because I have different bank accounts for different things, so. Yeah. Another thing that I do is on the 24th of every month, that is my payday. So on that payday, I will do everything to do with finances. So always in the diary on the 24th, I won't make any plans. I will just review my finances that day and I'll review how much I got paid, whether I got paid enough, whether it's the right amount. On that day, I'll think about, okay, how much am I gonna have to spend on rent? How much will I be spending that's extra to what I wasn't planning on spending before? Will I need to do any extra shifts this month to fund any travel? Yeah, I also review what money I'm making. So for example, this month, I made some extra money by working with Locator Locum, who is kindly sponsoring this video. Basically, it's an app that you can use to book your shifts in community. If you want to know any more about the company and what they do, then feel free to click on the links below and I'll put in the description box 
my previous videos and the collaborations that I've done with Locate Locum. But basically, it's an app that I have where I can go straight to it, put in my location and see what shifts are around me. So this month, I made some extra money by working with Locator Locum. So they're running this amazing referral benefit thing where if you refer your friend to download the app Locator Locum and they work their first shift as a community pharmacist in community, then you can both get 40 pounds. So what is there not to like about that? If you are already using the app and you want to introduce your friend to become a Locum pharmacist and they wanna earn some cash, then they can use your link and you can both get 40 pounds. And me personally, this month I made £120 actually because I'm an ambassador for Locator Locum and anyone who uses my link to sign up to Locator Locum, when they do that as an ambassador, I get £60 and they get £40 for working their first shift. And that is extra to the money that you're earning on the shift, by the way. It's not £40 for the shift. I'm really enjoying working with them and anyone can become an ambassador. Anyone can refer their friend. So if you just want to refer your friend, then you can make £40. Whereas if you want to refer your friend as an ambassador, then all you need to do is email the email that I'm gonna put in the description box below with the title, locate a locum ambassador and go from there. Also, they have this really cool aspect of the app. You can literally use their calendar. So I know I've been talking about my team up calendar, but locate a locum also have their own calendar and you can see all the shifts that you're planning to work on in that app. And you can also put some of your personal entries in there as well. So finally, how I stay on top of organizing my videos is that I will always have a script for them. I'll work on my scripts and I'll know that what I'm gonna say. So for example, right now I have a script in front of me. I know what I'm gonna say for this one. And that's because I don't wanna waste any further time bumbling on and you know, going uh, 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 and not sure what to say because that's gonna make my editing process a lot longer. So I always have a script for my videos. I also have a list of videos that I'm thinking about filming in the month. And so I kind of try and follow that schedule. I don't have a set list of videos that I plan on filming. For example, I don't upload a video every Wednesday or whatever other people do. I don't have that for myself because that would take the fun out of YouTube for me. But I do have a general list of videos that I plan on putting out in that month. And so that is just, again, another planning thing that I have. And finally, in terms of keeping on top of the diploma, at the moment, I haven't been, and that's just me being honest. So what I decided to do with one of my friends at work is on Monday night after work, we're just gonna go to the library and we are just gonna think about what we have to get done. And I said to her, bring a folder, bring yourself, and we're gonna stay in the library and we're just gonna figure out what on earth we're supposed to do and where we are at with the diploma. So whenever you have something that needs to get done, just face it head on. Just think, you know what, it's better to face it and it'll make yourself feel a lot better as well if you just get it done. So that is how I organize my life. Obviously everyone's lives are different, so you might not, you know, for example, have a list of videos that you're gonna film if you're not on YouTube. But generally that is how I stay on top of everything. I hope that this was helpful in some way and I shall see you in the next video.